Hi Scorpio, welcome to your August predictions general reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. So Scorpio, I'm really excited to do this reading for you guys. I'm gonna hit every aspect of your life, career and finances, love and romance, and anything else that wants to come through, I'm going to ask Spirit what you need to hear right now. What do you need to know about August? And anything that maybe is just you need to be better equipped with what you're going through at this time. And this can impact any aspect of your life, like I said. So I'm really excited to get this reading started. I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get it going. But first, I'm going to use my sample here to do a little mini meditation with you guys and clear and set the energy. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pull to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect to your energy by doing this. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times. And during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the, the questions you may have in regards to August. And then we'll see what spirit has to say. But it's very interesting. I'm already kind of, I know it's, I believe it's Mercury retrograde. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is. And uh, I... I feel like Scorpio, there's been something with your throat chakra going on and I know my Scorpios are never afraid to tell the truth, are never afraid to be honest, but there's something around you right now where either someone's preventing you from telling the truth or they are holding the truth from you. Um, and maybe you guys have already been kind of picking up on that. So anyways, a few messages before, let's go ahead and dive into the meditation. So. Let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and see what Spirit has to say for you guys for the general theme for August. And then everything we're going to break down deep and we're going to reveal it all. You know, when I heard um, the first bell, I heard like chicken. And to me, it kind of felt like someone chickening out. And I wonder if this happened to you recently or if this is something that you're wondering if someone's about to do. I don't know. Let's get into it. Some of you could be born near the rooster in Chinese astrology. But tell me about the general theme for Scorpio. Scorpio in the month of August. What does Scorpio need to hear right now? Okay, mountain. So it says, know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. You know, I'm getting very strong Capricorn energy here. So some of you could have strong Capricorn energy in your chart or some situation involving someone with strong Capricorn energy does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate with you. But Scorpio, yeah, I just feel something has been blocked. I feel as if something has been kind of taken aside and it wasn't really clear to you why. But what's really ringing out to me with this card here is protected. So I kind of have to say for some of you, if there's something a little bit derailed here or if someone's avoiding something, for now you're being protected because either they're not in the right energy to come forward or they're not in the right mindset I'm kind of getting here. And um, I got to say that it's going to still kind of be challenging as you go through August to know that someone's not being real with you or that there's something kind of not clear about a situation, but all you can do is just push forward and do what you can. I do feel as if there's going to be some sort of mountain to climb this month and we'll get a little bit deeper into that. But you guys are one of the most resilient signs of the Zodiac. So I feel as if there's nothing that could really prevent you from your success unless you stop yourself. Even if this is a challenge you have to face, you are equipped with climbing to the top of that mountain. I also see some hikes, camping kind of maybe going on for you guys this month. 
uh, getting out in the open with fresh air and nature is going to help really ground you guys. If you have been kind of feeling out of balance, if you've been feeling a little bit stressed or burdened, I feel spirit really does want you to connect with nature at this time or find ways to connect to nature. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in money and finances. Tell me about money and finances for Scorpio. Crafter. Ooh, I like this. So here we go. And it says, there's something wonderful just waiting to be expressed with your hands. Consider careers doing homemade items or some kind of craft or project. Think of ways to generate money that no other has done before or try something new. So what this card is telling me, Scorpio, is that you have a very strong creative talent. And that doesn't have to be something with your hands. It could be with your speech. It could be with your writing. It could be with your performance. But there's something that wants to express outside of you that maybe you kind of haven't been talking into maybe you kind of stuck with the nine to five which there's nothing wrong with the nine to five but there's a side of you that really wants to come out and do your own thing and what really stuck out to me here was that um you know find a way to generate money that no one has done before i feel part of your life path that maybe some of you guys are really starting to understand or be more open to this lifetime in august is to be a little bit of a trailblazer or to do something new that maybe isn't expected of you or people will be surprised at. But you have a talent here, whether it's psychic, whether it's creative, that spirit definitely wants you to experiment with. And I'm seeing someone signing up for classes, maybe. I'm seeing someone like looking up YouTube videos to better understand their gift or um, researching ways to kind of bring that creativity out and definitely you guys are so talented at whatever this is particularly you can make an income from it so I almost feel like some of you guys are wanting to do like a side hustle or something crafty on the side that could give you some sort of income I'm seeing Etsy I'm seeing e-commerce for a few of you but that is something that's very promising and something that spirit is kind of sending your way if you've been having that type of inclination to kind of try something new here now others of you if that's not so much the case and you may be kind of faced with some sort of financial problem or some sort of career setback that spirit wants you to find a solution to you are very you know out of the box when it comes to it and spirit says that there is no problem that can stop you and if there is a mountain to climb here you have the resources and needs to figure your way out of this trust yourself Scorpio is really what I want to tell you to the core and money and career and finances Okay, tell me about love and romance for Scorpio this month. Love and romances for Scorpio this month. All right, sorry, Scorpio. What we have here is worth waiting for. And it says divine timing is at work in your love life. This is interesting because I feel this is part of the throat chakra blockage. I feel this is the part of someone kind of shielding themselves right now, closing themselves off. But spirit may be kind of separating the two of you for now. So there could be some sort of catalyst, some sort of spiritual awakening that this other person needs to have in order to be fully in alignment with you, Scorpio. But yeah, I feel as if um, maybe even for a few of you, they're going through something outside of the connection here that they tend to want to process things alone. I wonder if this is like Virgo energy, Pisces energy that they just need some time and space to kind of heal from it. And I feel as if their defense mechanism is to be a bit avoidant and to not talk about their problems. And they're really in a sensitive time right now. So I feel by giving this person space will actually show them that you are allowing them to process the way they need to. And I don't think this is a done deal, Scorpio. If you guys have been worried about that, I don't think this is the end for the two of you. But I definitely feel as if there may need some time for this person to feel ready to come forward with their truth or to come forward with um, what they've been going through or how they feel about you. But there's some uneasiness here within them. And I know you just kind of want to have an understanding. We all kind of want that clarity in this way, but someone's not ready to come forward with that yet. So Spirit is saying there may be something you have to wait on in love and romance in August but I feel as if it is going to be worth waiting for when they wake up, when they kind of heal or understand um, something that they must do on their own in their own process and their own journey that you guys will come together again 
more in a vibration that the two of you can understand and get each other. They definitely have trust issues. I got to throw that out here. Severe trust issues. Um, the letter W is also sticking out to me as in Wyatt, as in Whitney, Wren, first, middle, last, initial. Okay. So let's get into the tarot and dive deeper. Let's see the three events that are happening for my Scorpions in the month of August. Okay. So we have the King of Spring, Leo energy. This is someone who's inspiring, dramatic, ambitious, and wise. Now's your moment to step up to a leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. Wow, I feel this is specifically tied to lifestyle or to career and finances. You guys are being asked to put forward in a leadership position. You guys may be handed a certain project, a certain role where your peers, your coworkers see that you're ready for to handle. And again, King of Wands energy is very creative, is very outside of the box, has a passion and goes for it. And I feel Scorpio that if that idea is presented to you of what you kind of want to move towards that you kind of put on the back burner or if someone in your work your friendship group gives you this opportunity you are ready to handle it and i feel that this is something you've been wanting to do for so long maybe you were waiting for the right time in career finances lifestyle but it is now others of you this king of spring could be the person you're dealing with love and romance maybe even friendship um this is someone who is very stubborn. This is someone who is very impulsive. They may not be in the right mindset where they feel the most confident. And King of Wands energy, when they're not the most confident, wants to handle things on their own. They don't want to show their weaknesses. They don't want to show their vulnerability. So that's why they're kind of keeping at space. But the King of Wands energy may be on your mind quite a bit, wondering what they're up to, what they're doing, if they're okay. Um... But I feel that this is something that their ego is kind of preventing them from being as open to you, Scorpio. So let them process that. And if you try to kind of pick at their ego, it's just going to make things worse. And I know you don't mean to purposely, but when they're in this defense mechanism right now, coming forward and trying to demand something out of them is not going to get the King of Wands to feel comfortable to do it. Then we have the Prince of Spring. Wow, very strong fire energy coming through for your reading today. But this is someone who's passionate, charismatic, confident, and restless. An opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. So, yeah, I wonder if this is part of the mountain. There may be a deadline for you guys this month. And maybe it's a like, you know, a a deadline that was on short notice or something that really you have to kick into full gear. And again, you're creative, you are a problem solver. And I feel that this is being handed to you as some sort of sign to see how far you've grown, how far you've come. And I got to say, if you're able to pass this, whatever this challenge is, I feel you're going to get to that top of the mountain by the end of the month, whether that's recognition, whether that's, um, you know, someone saying, damn, you did a good job and everyone's noticing Scorpio. I feel as if this may be a energy that may be kind of helping you putting the worth waiting for person, whoever you're waiting to get over whatever they're going through right now, to keep yourself active, to keep yourself busy, to keep yourself in a place where you're focusing on your passions more so than your challenges is what's going to really shift your energy into being an open, positive force that can manifest that type of open, positive opportunity to come your way. It's really kind of something where spirit is saying, despite the challenges that may come up, staying positive and believing in yourself is what's going to handle this much sooner than doubting yourself or resisting. That's a big thing here. Tell me another situation that's happening for Scorpio. Four of Autumn, Capricorn Energy. Be cautious about living a life of extremes and seeing things in black and white terms. Consider, for example, whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that keep people out. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Summer. Wow. 
and it says it's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or chosen family or close friends. Congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. Interesting. So a lot of different messages for different groups of you, so bear with me for a second here. So for some of you guys, I'm seeing that this romance for a lot of you can lead to a Ten of Cups, Pisces energy, by the way. It definitely can work that way should this mountain you guys are both in, if you climb it in your own journeys, in your own ways, you will unite again. To try to force, to try to resist, to try to push is where the flow gets resisted. You know, it's kind of like you see a river and you see a dam and all the water that's trying to can't come through can't. It's stuck, right? I think someone's going to understand the wall that they build up is really something that sabotages them. I think that's really going to be something that they're going to awaken to. And that's what's going to be worth waiting for. Because once they're really open to that and see that for themselves, I think they're going to work on tearing those walls down. Now, others of you, if this has nothing to do with love or romance, I feel like for some of you guys, you have set some boundaries with your family whether that's, you know, chosen family or your blood family, right? And I feel as if you've done that for your own peace of mind, maybe because there is so much going on in your life. But I do feel people in your family that miss you. It could be siblings, it could be parents. But I do feel like they are bummed that they don't get to see you as often, that maybe you are more at a distance. And it is something that maybe, you know, if you are open to it, to give them that call if you haven't talked to them in a while because I think that would make a huge difference for them as well as fulfill something in you. I'm seeing a rainbow so I wonder if you guys have been seeing rainbows recently had that's been a confirmation for you or always a sign for you guys but I feel like to kind of just mend this relationship whatever it's romantic or family or friend there's a big chance here of that happening. I want to go ahead and clarify these so we could get way deeper into this. Let's get into the specifics now. So let's see the King of Spring first. Tell me about the King of Spring. Oh, Seven of Swords in reverse. Wow. Okay. Prince of Spring. Death. And the Six of Pentacles. And then the Four of Autumn. Tell me more about the Four of Capricorn, the Four of Pentacles here, excuse me. Could be a Capricorn cross watcher here. Okay, Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Okay, this is why Spirit's saying this is worth waiting for. For a lot of you guys, this romance or the specific person that you may be waiting on will not be ready by the end of the month. They need more time. I'm just making it as real as you need to hear it. But again, I think they're realizing the sabotage of pushing others away, of not accepting the love that wants to come in, of being too protective. And to see that maybe I'm, I'm feeling this person, whether they're seeing you go out with other people or hang out, they get a sense of FOMO. And I think that will boil over into September, October for a lot of you. But bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Let's point this out here. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands in the same reading. To me, this is soulmate energy. This is purpose energy, contract energy. Now, let me be clear about soulmates. A lot of my longtime subscribers know my thoughts and beliefs about it, but I don't think, you know, um, there's different types of soulmates. And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be the person that you live together with happily ever, ever after, as they say in the stories. But I do feel soulmates always teach us something, grow something within us that help us excel through our own spiritual lessons to be in a place where we're at a higher vibration. This could be family members, friends, romantic partners. But I feel here, for you guys particularly, there is a destiny, there is a contract. And I feel the Queen of Wands, wherever side you feel more dominant feminine or dominant masculine, the divine feminine is settled, knows about this contract, feels this contract so deeply within them that they are just waiting for the King of Wands to wake up to it, to understand that, you know, we have something here that cannot be replicated. We have a fire for each other, a hunger for each other that never devours our yearning for one another. 
And I feel that once you kind of wake up to this and stop avoiding your own problems, your own crap, we can help each other grow our fire, fuel our fire together. I almost see you guys have the potential in the future to have a business partnership. Just throwing that out there or helping each other in your business and your careers, being that support system. I think you guys are both cut from that same cloth where you guys are out of the box thinkers. You guys are... Um, you know, good speakers, you guys are uh, very inspired, and you inspire others. And I feel you guys have had that kinship of getting along or understanding each other in that way. By the way, the bedroom, okay, you guys know how to turn each other on. There's nothing like when you two are intimate physically, sexually, and if you're not, not your message, right? But you know, if I'm talking to you, you guys know that you guys satisfy each other in ways that other people can't. So, and even if it's a friend or a family member, you guys just understand each other in ways that, um, you know, will never kind of dissolve the awareness of how close you guys are at a soul level in a kinship type of level. But here's the King of Spring with the Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarius energy is popping up. <sighs> yeah, I feel this King of Wands knows that they made some sort of mistake. And instead of kind of um, addressing it, I feel deep avoidance. And I feel this avoidance has been going on for some time, at least the last couple of months, maybe even the whole summer or, you know, winter if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. But it's kind of like they're realizing they can't really go on like this. They're realizing maybe that the avoidance is really leading them into more loneliness and I feel as if maybe even for others of you, if this has happened recently, you've kind of called them out on something that they felt very uncomfortable with being exposed. So I feel as if the King of Wands then kind of retreated or kind of wanted to go in their own shell, but in the back of their mind knew that was a bad idea, knew that that wasn't the great way to approach this. But I feel they may be too ashamed or too embarrassed to confront you now that they you know, try to sidestep you like that. But they are realizing now more so than before that what they did was not the best choice. And I think there's someone that may also be calling them out on this behavior. It feels like a friend or a best friend where they're realizing they need to work on this. Now, others of you, if this king of spring is you, and this has to do with work, finances, lifestyle, this is something you can't back out of. This is something that... um you will be asked to step up to. And if you do back out of it, um, it won't really turn out well for you. And I just don't want to give you more anxiety or anything, but I'm just saying, spirit saying, don't back out. Face this head on. Face what you need to face about, you know, a certain situation in your life. And even if you can't talk to this person exactly right now, you will do know maybe some of your habits and tendencies that you could work on and do while the other person does their work. But I also feel with um, career and finances too that uh, there may have been someone that you worked with that did some shady stuff, may have gotten fired for it, or may have been put off the project where you're going to fill in for it, okay? Now we have the Prince of Spring, so the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, with Death and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel more so than anything with the Death card here, the card that does represent Scorpio, you guys are going to be in this stage of go mode, of keeping focus, of, you know, taking care of business, of putting yourself out there, of, you know, going after your passions or going after what hungers you. If you just feel like you need to do this to take care of yours, to take care of your finances, to take care of your family, to take care of your rent, your bills, you're motivated to do this. Now, with the Six of Pentacles and the Death card here, you may feel like you have to do all this on your own and you may not have the support that you feel would be helpful, beneficial, or fair. But I want to say maybe Scorpio, with this mountain you have to climb with the lack of support or the lack of finances, spirit is seeing part of your lesson here is to come out on your own, to do this on your own and showing yourself 
that you have all that it takes and you don't need to rely on others for validation for um you know that extra bump to get you ahead you can get yourself there and spirit just wants to make that crystal clear for a few of you that maybe taking that first step is very scary knowing that there's not a lot to go off of but spirit saying even if you don't see that support in the 3d the 5d is rooting for you the 5d sees the future while the 3d is still very stuck in the present due to the time right and the 5d knows what you're going to look like on the top so spirit says even if you have no support that you see you have this fire in you that you can connect to that this won't even matter damn that's powerful energy here and maybe even some of you guys um, are inspired to do something for charity this month or to volunteer or to make something, you know, craft something for people in need. I feel that as well. Now, towards the end of the month, I see the Four of Pentacles with the Three of Cups in reverse. This person, if it has to do with love and romance, is stubborn as hell. And they are just not ready to see you again. I feel there's nervousness and embarrassment, shame, regret that they still haven't really worked through. And even if you guys do see them, whether you, you see them at the same place as your friend's house or out and about, they may be very distant with you. But again, I don't think it's anything that you did wrong. I think it's something that they feel unprepared for. So... I feel with this Four of Pentacles and Three of Cups in reverse. Also, for a few of you, this has nothing to do with love and romance. Be very um, careful about going out. If you've been going out a bit and, you know, you're spending $17 on cocktails and it's all kind of adding up, Spirit's saying um, to pay attention to your finances where you're doing too much leisure, too much um, play, and it could be kind of messing with your finances here towards the end of the month. So I just want to put that out there as well. Save your money instead of going out as much. Maybe a few of you kind of need to hear. But um, generally with this Four of Pentacles and the Three of Cups in reverse, yeah, I feel this is outside of you. And if it is outside of you, yeah, I think there's a certain someone that wants to hold on to a bit more of their pride that still is in the process of awakening, that they're not ready to come forward and to hang out just yet. But like I said, with the King and the Queen of Wands, with the Ten of Summer, I don't see this being your end at all. It's just a little bit of time that needs to work out some spiritual kinks within them before they're fully ready. And it's purely out of protection, Scorpio, even on both of your spiritual team's sides. I want you to know that. All right, tell me more of what Scorpio needs to know for August. What else does Scorpio need to know for August, Spirit? Infinite abundance. Okay, abundance is pouring into your life. So I feel if there has been something where maybe you have to kind of pull back on in another aspect of your life or in a different way, you will be fulfilled and take care of. But I feel part of this journey where you have to maybe go it alone for a bit in August is leading you to profound abundance. Because once you have that confidence, once you have that faith that if I can get through this, I can get through anything, I feel as if there will always be a chance for you to have abundance, to have thankfulness, gratefulness, opportunities come, because you'll make it happen. Again, you're that trailblazer. You're someone that will not stay stuck, refuses to stay stuck, whether people want to come with you on that journey or you have to leave them behind. But I feel, you know, with whatever may be lacking, it's going to be made up for in a ton of other ways. And I do feel more so right now to say that this could be your month for career finance opportunities to really flourish, even if love and romance is a little bit on the back burner. But I do kind of feel overall that people are going to witness what you've been able to produce for yourself, what you've been able to craft for yourself. And I think that once you get to the top of that mountain, the rewards are going to be worth it. Absolutely. Keep your eyes on the prize, Scorpio, because you will be there. And, um, you know, for a few of you, I kind of feel as if there are some friends that want to help. But maybe they don't know how to help. They don't know how to ask you for help because maybe you just appear so strong, so independent. 
um, and so protected that maybe they don't know how to come forward. So don't reject any help, even if it's in the smallest things, even if it's not exactly what you need or think you need right now. If there's any offers of opportunity to help you out, I would be open to them, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and get one more card for you guys. See any last messages for my Scorpios in regards to August? Any last messages from Scorpios, Angels, Spirit Team for August? Ooh. Look at that mystique and look at that dark horse. In a lot of ways, I feel you're that dark horse, Scorpio. Over, always overcoming, always coming through. And it says, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. And this is specifically in the middle of the month with that Knight of Wands energy. I do feel that you are going to have to pave your own way. You're going to have to, for a while, make your own opportunities. But you have this source of power that a lot of people don't have. And I think it's because a lot of people, especially this day and age with social media and the internet, like put that power through of influence in other people's hands. But Scorpio, I think you have this innate sense of just getting yourself together and going forward that is a rare quality. And Spirit's going to ask to put that into action in the middle of the month. And as you continue forward, as you stay passionate, charismatic, confident, I do think whatever has been blocked will eventually be released. But I do feel this comes after August. Once you climb to that top of the mountain and see how the rest of 2024 is going to look for you, I think blockages will be removed and you'll be happy that you gave yourself that opportunity to push through even when it was the hardest to do so. I'm also seeing a black car that someone may drive um, or thinking of getting a car, a new car that's black, but just <laughs> little messages for those who need to hear them at this time. Thank you so, so much, Scorpio, for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it's giving you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what you need to hear about your life in August. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.